everyone. I want to let you know it's been two weeks um, from my post-op from having my expanders to implant surgery. Everything is going really good. It is amazing the feeling from your from going from your expanders to your implants. The expanders are so much heavier. They don't move. They're just rocks on your chest. With the implants, they are they feel they're they don't have as much movement as I thought they would, but they're just when you sleep, they don't feel like you know just hard rocks there. Um, so it's really nice to have the implants in just so much better. Skin's doing really good. Um, in general, the nipples there. I've noticed, ladies, if you see this, if your nipples start getting lighter, mine have. Um, I think it's perfectly normal. The plastic surgeon did not seem worried about it at all. So I think it's just the way the skin's going to heal. Um, I did have a little incision on my right breast. This is the same one that I had some skin dye on. It's in that same area. I don't think it's right on the same area, but close to it. It got, I was doing my exercises one day and when I did my exercise, I had one of the little, the little spot that was black. I don't know if it was really black or just dried blood. It opened up and I had fluid come out. It was not blood, it was just fluid. Um, after surgery, you know, you have fluid build up on your breast and that's perfectly normal. And the body will reabsorb it, but mine found a hole to get out of, so it opened up a little bit. So I called my plastic surgeon and he is amazing. He took me in that day. He cut just the part where that was black. He cut that open and he cut the dead skin around it, cleaned it out really good. Sorry, bug. Um, he cleaned it up really good and he stitched it up. I think I have four stitches. I had to put I have to put peroxide on it for a couple of days just to make sure there's no kind of infection. I have been on antibiotics since my surgery and still on antibiotics. That's just to be extra safe that there's not gonna have I'm not gonna have any kind of infections. Um, you know, after a while your body gets tired of antibiotics. I mean I've been having like rashes and places that are swollen and I think it's just it's just your body it gets tired you know you've went through this huge double mastectomy and then you get these expanders in and then you turn around you got to have your implants put in so your body just gets tired after a while um, and like I said I'm not going through chemo or radiation this was my decision 100% and my body's still tired um, but it, it's it's good we're getting close to the end so everything is good I do want to show you what that incision looks like with the stitches in just so y'all can get an idea um, what it looks like now we do have a picture we're gonna squeeze in showing the black area with the fluid in it and that way if you ever see anything like that when they take the glue off immediately call your doctor do not wait let them see it that way they can they can look at it and say yes or no or whatever because you just don't want to take any chances because if you get any kind of infection in in your breast area you could lose your implants and that's nothing to play around with so anyway so we're going to go inside and we're going to let you see the stitch and we'll be right back hey we're back um so i do want to show you the area that we had to um just reopened just a little bit that got ugly and drained a little bit and so I want to study, show you those stitches. I want to let you know though that normally when you have your implant surgery um, you're usually done. Like you don't have to go back in. They go in, they do internal stitches, they 90% of the time glue over it, over your incision it heals up, they pull it off, you're done. With me having a little setback with one of my incisions, this time he had to put the external in the external stitches and normally he does not like doing that because you know you will have the stitch mark on it which honestly it doesn't matter to me as long as there's no kind of infection it's healing up correctly I'm perfectly fine with it. So let's go ahead and look at the, at the stitches. As you can tell it looks really good. It's healing very well. I'm hoping in a couple of days I'll get to go in and they're going to take these stitches out and I will be done, I hope. Um, they're saying that, 
I got a feeling they'll maybe come in maybe one more time in a few weeks. Um, but if not, then I will get to go to three weeks. So, so we'll see what they what they say. So, but that's it. Okay, I want to talk about my pain meds from my surgery when I had my implants put in. I did take pain meds, which is Percocets. I took them about every four to six hours for about four to five days. Some people take it less, some people take it more. It just depends on your pain tolerance. Mine, honestly, is not very good, so I think I, I, take, I take them a little bit more than normal. Um, so after my second surgery, when they went in and put the stitches in, he did do four shots um, before he went in and cleaned that little incision out. So by the time I got home around 8 o'clock that night, I did have a tremendous amount of pain. I took a pain med right when everything wore off, and I took another one four hours later. But then I only took the pain meds like a week, or sorry, like a day or two after that. Came off the pain meds really quick for that. Um, the sooner you can get off of them, the better. Just because you know how pain meds are, they constipate you and just make you feel horrible. But I think you'll be fine on this. You really won't need a ton of pain meds. So I go back in a couple of days to get my stitches out and I will do another video after that to um, let everybody know how I'm doing and what the doctor said. And hopefully it'll all be good news and I won't have to go back so quickly. Right now it's been every week in a row since my surgery. So we're looking two, three weeks in a row now. Um, so hopefully that'll get spaced out a little bit. So thank you for watching my channel. Um, any comments, please list, list below and please like my page. Thank you.